The Wolves of Cernogratz by Saki Are there any old legends attached to the castle? asked Conrad of his sister. Baroness Grubel shrugged. There is a story that when anyone dies in the castle, all the dogs and the wolves howl. Anyhow, it isn't true. When the old mother-in-law died, there was no howling. It is not when anyone dies in the castle that the howling is heard, said Amelie, the grey old governess, sitting silent and prim. Everyone turned in astonishment, for she seldom spoke out of turn. It is when one of the Cernogratz family dies here that the wolves and the dogs howl, just before the death hour. As the soul leaves the body, a tree crashes down. But for a stranger dying here, no wolf would howl and no tree would fall. You seem to know quite a lot about the Von Cernogratz legends, Fräulein Schmidt, the Baroness said sharply. I am a Von Cernogratz, said the old woman. When we became poor, I took another name. I had little thought when I took service with you that I should one day come to my old family castle. I don't believe a word of it, snapped the baron. That year, in the cold weather after Christmas, the old governess fell ill. It is most annoying, said the baroness. When I have the house full of guests, she goes and breaks down. Suddenly, an outburst of angry barking was heard, followed by a long-drawn whining howl. Wolves, cried the baron. The baroness left her guests and made her way to the cheerless room where the old governess lay in the biting cold of the night. The baroness rushed to close the window. Keep it open. I want to hear their music. They have come from far and wide to sing the death music of my family, said the old woman in a voice that for all its weakness carried an air of command. Stunned. The baroness took her leave. Hark! What is that other sound? asked the baron. It was a tree falling in the park. There was a moment of constrained silence. Later, the notice in the newspapers read, On December 29th, died Amelie von Cernogratz, for many years the valued friend of Baron and Baroness Grubel.